looks just like a soft, comfortable blanket. Warm, cozy, and oh yeah, weighs about 25 pounds. This is the weighted blanket, and we're gonna review it for you. All right, it's experiment time. We just got ourselves a weighted blanket. Now, that's pretty much the reaction that they had when I first opened it up. Uh, but it is, it's, it's interesting, right? It is interesting. It so is. the science of it is, it's kind of like a thunder jacket for dogs, that the weight creates a sensory input that is overwhelming essentially for your brain and your nervous system. And by having this consistent weight, it's supposed to actually calm down your nervous system. So I like to think we're scientists here in a way. So we're gonna we're gonna test that out. Ryan's got um, right there a heart rate monitor that's hooked up to our our system. Heart and heart. It's, yes, it's right there. So he has the, the monitor that's hooked up to our um, to our TV. So we're gonna monitor heart rate in real time. So here's how the experiment's gonna work. So we're gonna get our heart rate measured before getting the weighted blanket on us. Then we're gonna jump on these assault bikes to elevate our heart rate. Then we're gonna rest. And we'll see how long it takes for our heart rate to get down to resting, to the baseline normal. Then we're gonna do the assault bike again, get our heart rate up, and then we're gonna put the weighted blanket on and see if it's faster. If our heart rate drops, if we calm down, if our nervous system calms down faster than it did without it. And we'll also track to see how we felt, that we feel more relaxed, which is a subjective thing, but something interesting to track. That's our experiment. You ready? Yes. Let's do it. All right, two minute rest time. Get comfy. Two minutes rest. Resting heart rate, 51 beats per minute. All right, get set. Wait a And go. And go. Got it up to 121. Got a timer or clock? All right, got to get down to 51 beats per minute. Four minutes, 47 seconds to get back to resting heart rate. All right, Mandy's up, starting with her two minute rest. Fifty-one beats per minute. Same as Ryan. Yep. Go. Cool. 
to 133 beats per minute. All right, now we gotta see how long it takes her to get down to 51 beats per minute, resting normally. minutes five seconds all right Vince is up Mandy gets a break and then Mandy does it again with bike and blanket all right we're gonna get Vince set up on a heart rate monitor so you just see his Mandy's gonna rest then Mandy's gonna get on the bike run through it and then try it again with the blanket and then Vince is gonna do the blanket and then Ryan's gonna do the blanket and then we'll look at all the data here we go We are at 58 beats per minute resting. All right, Vince, Mike, ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Got up to a hundred. Still going. 7.5 minutes. Vince, you couldn't get your heart rate to to rest while resting. I can't? Nope. So it'll be a fun little test to see if it'll come down to resting with the blanket next time around. That'll be interesting. Alright, you're up, Hoss. Blanket is on, covered up, timer, start. It has to get down to 50 beats per minute. Two minutes, 51 seconds. That's a big difference. I hate this thing. <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> How'd it feel? Suffocating. And yet you recovered significantly faster. Maybe it's because of nasal breathing. We're not doing the first thing. I can't remember. <laughs> so it forced you to slow down your breathing? Is what you're saying? I mean, friends of whatever you want to skew the data to be. <laughs> what do you mean skew the data? You can't skew the data, the numbers are the numbers. What we can do is give subjective input into how it felt. I felt like it was a heavy weight on my chest that made it harder to breathe. And yet you recovered faster. She's up again. She's got her two minute rest. It's like sweat marks all over <laughs> Wait till the blanket comes on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Came back to her resting heart rate. And then it's bike and blanket. Time. 52 beats per minute. One hundred forty three beats. Blanket is going on. Once the blanket is on, start the time. So you have to get down to 52 beats per minute. Time. 
Andy got 158. 158 with the blanket. Oh, I shaved off a few seconds. All right, Vince is up with the blanket. All right, Vince is up. His two minutes rest. And then bike. Then blanket. That was. How'd it feel with the blanket? Um, I don't know if I noticed anything different, but I felt nice. <laughs> was it hot? No, it wasn't hot. What was like? What was the weight like? It felt like comforting. I think it was good. I don't. I don't know if I noticed it like had an effect on slowing my heart rate. And time. At 154 beats per minute. Blanket Ooh, is coming on. I thought it felt nice. <laughs> and time. So Vince has, needs to get down to 65 beats per minute. Last time we capped him at seven and a half minutes. Before he didn't even get to resting. So Vince shaved almost a minute off his return to resting. With the caveat though, I think it's important to note that when you're doing the initial resting, your heart resting heart rate was 51. And it never really came back down to 51 after the first assault bike. But your, your initial resting is 58. I think it's 58. Yeah, 58. 58. So seven beats, never came down. Lesson learned in that, assault bike destroys hearts. Yes. How did it feel under the blanket? Sweaty. Sweaty? Aside from that, how was the weight? Uh, I stopped noticing it after a while. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like super hot. My legs were hot. Real hot. Yeah. But I didn't notice the weight after a while? Just felt no. like a blanket? Yeah. Just felt like a normal blanket. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's our little experiment with the weighted blanket. Maybe a little silly, but it was kind of fun to see how the body responds. Obviously not a perfect experiment, but it does show how our nervous system responds to this extra bit of stimulus. Now, these blankets are used for anxiety. They're used for just kind of calming down the system. After exercise, that's one way you use it. We're gonna use it in our meditation room to see if people just like that extra weight that have to really bring down the nervous system. It's a good start. We'll keep you posted. Let us know what you think. Did you like the experiment? Would you would you like something heavy like that on top of you? Some people get a little squeamish about having feeling contained. Is that you? Let us know in the comments below. If you're liking the vlogs, please subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Catch you again on the next vlog.